We're expecting to be under significant pressure when ambulance staff nationally take strike action over a pay dispute. We'll be sending a response to all patients in a life-threatening situation, but people with injuries such as minor broken bones, pregnant women in routine labour, patients with some breathing difficulties or those involved in minor road traffic accidents may not receive an emergency ambulance response. Patients will be referred to NHS 111, given clinical advice over the telephone, provided with alternative transport and may wait longer or may be asked to make their own way to hospital. We've got plans in place to ensure we're able to respond to the most seriously ill and injured patients first and all our clinical managers will be on the front line. We've also got support from other emergency services and we'll be sending ambulances from the private sector to emergency calls across London during the strike. The strike will only last for four hours, but we are expecting the impact to last across the entire day. We recognise the right of our staff to take strike action and we've been working with our trade unions to ensure that we can provide a safe service for Londoners during the strike. Londoners can help us help them during the strike by only dialing 999 in a genuine emergency and contacting NHS 111, their pharmacist, their GP or other parts of the NHS for help and advice during the strike on Monday.